Hello, my name is Joseph Ribeiro, USA Lifetime Star Reporter, Junior King. And today I'm with David Fazio, my nephew. And today we are at the Disney Cruise Line, a very beautiful place, 14 levels to be exact. Four ships, the dream, the fantasy, the adventure, and the wonder. I'm pretty sure it's adventure. And um, so today we're going to be speaking in Portuguese because my nephew right here, he's Brazilian. All right, let's get on to it. Davi, então como que você sente disso o barco aqui? Ah, eu, eu acho muito gostoso, aqui é bem legal. Tem piscina e tudo. <risos> e que que uh, uh, também tem there's also this thing called the Ocean Air Lab and Club. Uh, by the way, if you're a kid and your parents did not drop you off there, make sure that your that your bracelet that they will give you. I don't have my bracelet on right now. Neither does he. Uh, that you give uh, that they give you is let you get out of the Ocean Air Lab and Club as well. Because yesterday there's a kind of problem there. But Whatever about that. Então, como que você sente de o álcool? Ah, é bem relaxante, bem gostoso, bem legal. Go take the picture, go take the picture. Tá, e... Que que outra coisa que faz aqui? Igual o investativo, investativo, não sei o que é isso. O detector. Não sei o que é isso. So, around the ship, there's two things. On deck two and deck five up there. Um, you can find these detective he headquarters. I mean, that V did two of them already. The puppy Dalmatians gone missing. And the paintings. And they're really awesome. You get to explore the whole ship. Find new places, like the animator's plate, which I did not know of yet. Uh, which is a dining place. Very unique food. Amazing. And it's very interactive here. And you'll get a detective badge that has a barcode right here. And you'll and a painting will scan it. And then the paintings just come to life. It's amazing. É o coisa de que nós fez o outro dia de andar no todo o barco. Ah, é legal. Você anda todo o barco, é bem legal. E como é bonito o barco que você já fez aqui? É muito bonito, tem até que é muito bom aqui, é muito bonito, muito. O que você faz aqui? Tá atrás da gente. That's many miles. And so statue. there's also this very beautiful place called the Edge, Edge, just that. And it's on level 14, the highest level, and it's very, very Mommy. unique. Uh, you can find tons of fun things to do, like the Ocean Air Lab and Ocean Air Club. It's very amazing, and about the dining here, it's very special. You get to meet new people that sit at your table. You scan your barcode, I don't have it right here, but your, like your card they will give you to go inside your room and you give it to the waiters and what happens is you find your table my table is 91 his table too and then what happens is we met one of my one new friend Joseph Ribeiro USA Lifetime Star Reporter Junior King and today I am with George here on the Disney Cruise Line it's a very beautiful place very enormous Lots of activities for the youth and adults to play. Well, not play, do. Um, and so, George, how do you feel about the Disney Cruise Line? Well, it's been very nice so far. We have a lot of good food to eat. <laughs> we've been to amazing beaches. Uh, we've been to Bahamas, which is a very nice, which is a very nice country. We w went on snorkeling to see the fishes. So it's been a very good experience. All right, and um, what else, like, what is the pool like on top, on deck 11? Well, the pool is very huge, it's huge. Um, you have this massive uh, water slide, the aqueduct, which um, it has a, a 
turn? It has a slide. It has a slide that would be going like this. Yeah, it, it goes like this, and and then you can. It's like you are on top of the on the sea. It's like it's like you get outside of the ship, the ship actually, and then you come back to the ship. So it's very fun. Yes, and also part of the aqueduct, you would be going down and up, so it feels like you're flying a bit. And also, um, there's different types of Disney Cruise Lines. There's four right now. We're on the Fantasy right now, and there is. The fantasy, the dream, the one. Um, yeah, those are the ships that I remember. And I've already been on three, so I can't wait to go on the fourth. And um, so, how many Disney Cruise Lines have you been on, George? This is my first Disney Cruise Line. It's gonna be probably my last one <laughs> until I have a family. <laughs> when I get my family, perhaps I'll, I'll 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 think about coming back. But it's a very nice experience if you have a family, if you have kids, um, kids will love. But um, if you don't have a, if you don't have a family yet, I don't feel like it's gonna be a, an amazing experience. But it's very nice. Yes, and also for the adults, there's nightclubs, and for the kids. The adults can leave the kids in the Ocean Air Club, the Ocean Air Lab, or the Edge. And around the ship, you can find two of uh, these detective headquarters. And there, you can find a card, a map, and a pencil. And you can choose one detective um, uh, detective case you want to do. I have done the paintings and the puppies. The Dalmatian puppies and what you would do is you would go around the whole ship all the way to deck 10 to 1 and you would use this card that has a scan barcode and there will be these paintings right in front of you with a dot on the floor and then you put the barcode right there and the painting will just like turn to life and it's so amazing and I have my friend my nephew David and which I do the detective work with him and today George will be doing one of us. Mm, I didn't know that. <laughs> and yeah, there it's just really fun on the Disney cruise line. And yeah. Uh, is there anything else you would like to say, George? I'd like to send kisses to my mom, to my dad, to my family and to you, Shusha. <laughs> Don't know who Susha is, but okay. <laughs> and thank Google you. Google it. <laughs> thank you for watching, and thank you for your time. And stay on the flip side. And stay frosty. Stay frosty. And right now, um, I'm going to be asking Alki a few questions about Bristol, and let's get right on to it. So, Alki, uh, what is it like here in Bristol? Very nice. It's actually the capital of the European Union. We also have the European Parliament here, so all the most important meetings of the European Parliament is held here in Brussels. Right now, we are a little outside of Brussels. We are at the Patronomium, which you can see behind us. This is built for the World Expo in 1958, and it is 335 feet high. Wow, that's really tall. You see all those balls. Six are able to enter, one is used for service, and one, is, one in the middle has the fastest elevator, goes in like five, seven seconds, you can go to the top. And the elevator is, of course, manufactured in Switzerland. <laughs> and um, is there, what can you find in Brussels? Well, the most famous thing to eat here. <laughs> Is French fries. They have the most famous French fries, which we already tried yesterday, but we're going to have for lunch too. We need to get just to some car, which you can see where you can really see it in the car. They make French fries very fresh. They are the best and very tasty. And also uh, for sweet stuff, we have the French waffles, which Joseph likes the most. Belgian waffles? You need to try it. It's a must. And also, they speak two languages here. What are those languages? French, because Belgium is connected with uh, French in the south, and also they speak Dutch, but their accent is a little different here than the Holland, so they call it Flemish. Ah, 
about it is that here in Brussels is mixed multi-language and the most French people don't like to speak Dutch and you can be in one store or one restaurant they don't want to speak Dutch to you they only speak French so it's a kind of little funny mixed up here Wow and um, also uh, are there any other places here in uh, Belgium that are very interesting and historical after we finish here, we're going to take another Uber and we're going to go directly to the European Parliament buildings. Wow! That's actually pretty cool. And also, another way of traveling here is by bicycles and electric scooters. You can find them anywhere around here in Belgium. And, um, can you tell them where we're staying? We're not sponsored by them, by the way. We're staying, of course, again, like in Madrid, we're staying at Hilton. And how far is that from the train station? It is fantastic because when you arrive at the airport, you take a train ticket directly to the train station and you just cross the train station right at the hotel. You don't need to look for the hotel and you can just leave your stuff there before you go back to the airport. You just pick up your stuff, go to the train station and in 20 minutes you arrive at the airport. Wow, that's amazing. Huh? Um, so, Alki, can you please tell us the places we've already been to? We've been yesterday to the Grand uh, Square, very historical buildings with the cathedral and we had dinner there and in like a kind of basement we were sitting outside and we had a very special tea of Belgium. We had beef stew, of course with Belgian french fries and I had fresh mussels with um, my and garlic. Wow, and I had sausage and fries, uh, very delicious and um, uh, where were we today? Today we went to the Royal Palace because it's a very, very unique time to be here because the king is on vacation. Because of that, we were able to enter into the palace of the king and even it was for free, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> wow! By the way, Alki, how much languages do you speak? I almost don't know anymore. I speak Dutch, Frisian, English, Swiss German, a little Spanish, and Portuguese. Wow. Uh, could you give us examples of these? Like saying hi, hello? In which language? Uh, first Dutch. Goedemorgen, dames en heren. Hoe gaat het met u? Wow. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? All right. And, um... Can you tell us in Brazilian? Bom dia, senhoras e senhores. Tudo bem vocês? Um, do you also speak French? Uh, oui, bien sûr. Je parle un français un petit peu ici en Belgique. Et tu, um, 50, uh, 50% parle uh, français ici. Hein? <laughs> And what did you say there? I say we are here in Belgium and like 50-60% of the country speak French. Oh, wow. Anyways, like Finch, outro again. Stay on the flip side and stay frosty.